welcome again to another CISA exam video tutorial today's testing concept will be discussing on steps of risk assessment so details about this video in this video we will learn about steps to be followed while conducting risk assessment this is very very important concept from CISA's exam point of view Rest assured, minimum 5 to 7 questions can be expected in CISA exam on this concept. So pay your attention. Question, answer and explanation design here closely resembles to the CISA exam pattern. So now there are 6 steps for risk assessment activity. What are these 6 steps? You understand all these six steps and you will ensure you will write all the questions on CISA exam on this concept correctly. So what are these six steps? First one is understand the business environment. It is the basic requirement of any risk assessment activity to understand the business environment. What is the second step? Identify the critical assets. So next, once you are aware of the business environment, you need to identify the critical assets that support that particular business. Third one is identify all potential risks for that particular critical assets. You identify the business environment, you identify the assets that support that business environment, then you identify the risks that are applicable for that particular critical assets. Next one is now all risks cannot be that important because their impact may not be that much. So we need to prioritize the risks in order of its criticality. Fifth one. Now for each risk we can have multiple control mechanism. All mechanism may not be relevant in the term that cost of control should always be less than cost of risk. So we will need to evaluate all the available control mechanism. And then last we need to apply the relevant control. So again first step is to understand the business environment. You understand the critical assets that support that business environment. You identify the risks for the critical assets. You prioritize all the risk. You evaluate the control mechanism. And then which control mechanism is relevant, you apply the particular control mechanism. So one more question. Most important step in a risk analysis is to identify critical assets, controls, vulnerabilities and liabilities. If you see in our earlier slide, we discuss what are the steps of risk assessment. First one is we will identify the business environment. Second one is we will identify the critical assets that support that particular business environment. So in this question, we do not have an option on our business environment. So my answer in this question will be to understand the critical assets. So once critical assets being identified, second step will be to ensure what are the risks what are the controls and so on. Next question. In a risk based audit planning, what would be first step of ESA's audit? Responsibilities of stakeholders, high risk area within the organization, cost center, controls. So again, if you see the steps, first is business environment, second is assets third is high risk and so on but we do not have option of business environment and critical assets so third area of our step that is the identification of critical risks will be our answer in this point that is point number b high risk area within the organization let us understand one more question which actually resemble the question asked in csa exam ESA auditor in course of his audit identifies certain threats and vulnerabilities. What should be his next step? Identify stakeholder for that particular business. Identify information assets and underlying system. Disclose the threats and impacts to the management. Identify and evaluate the existing controls. So once threats and vulnerability identified, we saw in our earlier slide the next step is to ensure what are the actual controls in its place. So if threats and vulnerabilities are there, but proper mitigating controls are in place, so then fine. If residual risks are within the acceptance level of the management, then we need not go for option A, B and C. 
So here, once threats and vulnerability being identified, our next step is to understand whether any existing controls are there that mitigate that particular threats and vulnerabilities. If it's there, then the answer is yes. D. Identify and evaluate the existing control. Next question. An ESA auditor is evaluating management's risk assessment of information system. So what should be his first review? But the controls already in place, effectiveness of the controls, mechanism for monitoring the risk and the threats vulnerability affecting the assets. So here first we need to understand what are the risk. Only if we understand what are the risks, we will be able to understand what, are the, what should be the controls, whether the controls are effective or whether risks has been identified and monitored properly. So our answer here will be to understand the threats and vulnerabilities affecting the assets. If we we'll know this, then option A, B and C are the next steps. Let us take one more example. An ESA auditor is reviewing data center. So what should be his first step? Whether he should evaluate physical access control or he should determine the vulnerability threat or review screening process or evaluate logical access control. So all these three controls, option A, C and D will be relevant only if he knows what are the vulnerability or threats to particular data center. Once he identifies the risks, then he can evaluate the controls and then he can see whether particular relevant controls are in place and are actually in effect. So answer here, first step is you need to understand what are the vulnerabilities and threats to the data center site. Let us take one more example. So again in a risk based audit approach, what should be the role of ESHA auditor? What should be the first role? Whether he need to do inherent risk assessment or control risk assessment, test of control, substantive test. Inherent risk assessment means assessment of particular assets without any control mechanism. So it's basically gross risk assessment or risk assessment before any controls. Control risk assessment means the whether controls are actually in place but may not be effective. That is known as control risk. Test of control, same thing, whether controls are effective. Substantive test assessment means uh, testing of transaction. So here, first step, he will understand what are the actual risks before implementation of the control. So answer will be inherent risk assessment. So again, one more question. In planning an audit, the most critical step is the identification of the area of high risk, skill set of the audit staff, test steps in the audit and time allotted for the audit. So as we discussed earlier, only and when he will be knowing what are the area of risks, then only other point like B, C and D can be taken care of. So answer will be areas of high risk. Let us take one more example. An ESA auditor is reviewing payroll application. He identified some vulnerabilities. So what should he do? Report the vulnerabilities to the management immediately? I don't think so. Vulnerabilities can have some major impact, can have minor impact or can have no impact at all. So unless and until he will identify what are the impact of that vulnerabilities, he need not directly report to the management. Examine application development process. This is irrelevant here. Identify threats and likelihood of occurrence. Exactly. So very next step is to identify what are the impacts of this particular vulnerabilities in the system. So once he identify then he need then he need to take the second step whether to uh, recommend for new application or whether to report to the management or maybe he again need to examine the full application development process but this step will be taken care only if he will identify threats and likelihood of occurrence. Let us take one more example. Auditor is developing a risk management problem program. The first activity to be performed is an vulnerability assessment, control evaluation, identification of assets, gap analysis. So earlier if we we'll go to the steps, 
first is business environment second is asset third is risk and so on so in our question answer will be identification of assets thanks for watching For more such videos, please visit datainfosec.blogspot.in. All the best for your CISA exam.